Hello, I'm going to explain about adding your own fast travel markers. These markers can only be added to existing worlds like Valen or Novigrad, or Skellige anywhere. There should be a way to add them to your custom world, but it's something I have yet to figure out. So let's start. So first we need to open an existing level. So I'm just going to open the Prolo level. Under levels, Prolo. And find the W2W file. I mainly use this wheel because I know there's a fast travel marker nearby and it's easy to test if it works. So let's first create a new layer. So inside this world tab, press right click and press add layer and set the build tag to quest and the type to non-static. Now give this layer a name, I'll just call it custom marker and press create. Now it should be selected and bold. So now we're going to need to add a fast travel template, which is in the asset browser under gameplay, fast travel entities. And I usually just select the fast travel template no man's land. I think any of these will work with this one. And I'll just drag it into your world. This purple area that you see, that's where the main trigger is, so it will pop up on your screen, show the name of the marker, and it will add it to your world map. If you don't see this purple area, you have to go to View, Settings, Editor Options, Debug, and tick Areas. But we have to leave this for now, because we need to add our own localized strings. So go to Tools in your top left and press localize string editor it's usually on all but we have to go to maps so scroll all the way down to maps in here are most fast travel entities defined and locations give it descriptions that will show up on your map or when walking around the world we need to add our own definitions I'll usually just go to the last page, so press this grey arrow and go all the way up. So first we need to add a location, so press this plus arrow. And in here you have to write down the definition. Map location test marker 01 or something. You can change this name however you like. As long as there's still this string in there. And under value you have to put the name you want to show up when you walk into the trigger. So I'll just call it test marker. So now let's add a description in the same way. So press the plus icon again. And then write map underscore description underscore test marker desk. O1. And in value I'll just write test marker description. So now all you have to remember is everything that's after this string. So for me it's test marker 01, test marker description 01. And also don't forget to press save so it's in the database. Also remember them exactly if you use capitalized letters or anything it has to be exact. So now that it's saved, let's go back to your template. And in these tags, you have to write the tags you wrote in the localized string editor. So for me, it was test marker 01 and test marker description 01. Now in the properties, go down till you see. CR4 map pin entity and in the entity name you also have to write the location you wrote in the localized string editor so that's for me test marker 01 and now in CR4 fast travel entity you see you need a waypoint so with this layer selected press right click in your world 
and go to navigation and add a waypoint. Now give this waypoint a tag. So again I'll go with test marker and then TP for teleport. And I'll just copy this to the Odyssey node as well. And also under C entity I will add it there too. Now just copy this name in the C entity. And go back to your fast travel template. And add it to the teleport waypoint tag. Also just make sure you save a couple of times in between you do everything. But usually what you have to do after you've done everything. Add it to waypoint. Add it to marker. And add it to properties. You go to tools. Level, export entities, and you should get one out of one map in successfully exported. Anyways, then I'll go again to level and then update map pins, and then I'll just test it. And then, if everything is correct, you should be able to see it pop up. And it should be in your map. So now I've loaded all markers. So as you can see there's another one over here. Now I'm just going to test if the fast travel mechanic works. So I'm just going to activate Wosong Bridge. And I'm going to activate my marker. And if it worked correctly should be able to travel to there. And of course travel back. Well thanks for watching. There were some issues with my red kit at certain point. When exporting the map ins it gave me an error that that the other waypoints missed certain values but after a little bit of forcing it and exporting again, it, it worked. So you might run in the same issue or not, because if you follow it step by step, it should work.